everybody, my name is Steffies, and welcome back to another episode of Tech Tuesday. Today, I'm going to be doing something that's very, very far from original, but I don't think Mambo Jumbo ever made a complete design for this, so we're going to do a quick tutorial just right here. And if you guys don't know what this is, this is a melon farm he experimented with a few months ago, I believe. But he never actually did make an official tutorial, so I'm just going to give you the materials list and what is required to build this elegant machine. The drop rates are actually on screen, uh, where are on the of the video, I mean. And so now you know how much this does drop. But that said, this design is extremely efficient, and it is a bit loud, but that's the only con. And before you get into the tutorial, this is how it looks from all angles. It does look pretty sleek and modern, but the reason that is, is because I use these expensive quartz blocks. Uh, I'm going to give you a cheap materials list. You don't have to use the blocks that I use unless I specifically say so. So at the moment, don't worry, you're not going to need a bunch of quartz for this build. Or a bunch of glass over here. No big deal. So yeah, let's get started into the tutorial. So I hope I don't mess anything up, hopefully. But here's the resources list for everybody that's interested in building this farm for yourself. I think it'll be in the description if I remember, but 9 observers, 9 regular pistons, 30 redstone dust, uh, you can shorten this, but I'll explain why it's good to have 30, 2 redstone blocks, uh, 18 dirt, let me just clear that real quick, 18 dirt, 2 water buckets, keep in mind you don't, you don't need exactly 2, but you are going to need 2 water sources, this can be dirt as well, I, I mean grass. Uh, my glass, you need 18 glass or any other transparent block. So number one, it doesn't have to be white stained, it can be regular glass. And number two, by transparent block, I mean any block that like a beacon can shine through, such as a, uh, I think that's how it works, a leaf block would work perfectly fine. You need 16 regular rails, two powered rails, or maybe one, I believe two is good to have, but maybe one is only that you need. Uh, Minecart with hopper, one or two. I use two just because it's a better collection chamber, but you only need one technically. One chest. Doesn't have to be trapped. I just had that on me. And a hopper. Definitely a hoe. Nine melon seeds. And uh, this is going to be kind of required. You're going to need some bone meal. I know this wasn't in it. And because each melon seed can take a maximum of three attempts, that's going to be a maximum of 27 bone meal. And I think it's safe to bring a stack and a half. But if you want, this is how much blocks you should bring. It doesn't have to be great concrete. It can be any solid block. It can be dirt for all I care. But it doesn't really matter. Whatever pleases your eye. So this is exactly how many solid blocks you will need. And it's going to be solid. Some of these can be glass. I will let you know when it has to be a solid block. The whole farm could be glass. Almost all of it. But you are going to need this many resources. So I'm going to build it in survival. But I'm going to let you know when something occurs. Because I feel like... A, it'll be helpful to keep track of resources, but B, I can just explain better how the process works. So we're just going to grab some tools and get right into the design of the build. So before I hop into survival, the area you're going to need is f is four, four, three. The area you're going to need is 11 blocks long by five blocks by six blocks wide. And this ground layer, we're not including it as an actual layer, so like we're not going to be placing blocks inside the floor. Instead, you're going to need five heights, so five upwards of available space, if you get what I mean. Anyway, we're going to grab the resources and just begin building this farm. So, finally, with all that out of the way, let's grab all of our resources and begin with the build. The build is not very complicated, and if you do want to stop before the tutorial, then yeah, feel free to leave, but thank you, and be sure to like the video if you are leaving now. But here we go with the tutorial. So, you're going to want to start by grabbing your blocks, and these blocks have to be solid blocks. Start in the middle of your platform and place a little shape like so, and continue that shape. I'm gifted. Continue that shape for the entirety of the design, and just stop at the end. Now you want to grab your rails, and this is where the fun part happens. Uh, you want to grab two powered rails and just kind of straighten them out like so. This should work perfectly well, I believe. There should be no mishaps that occur. And now you want to place in your chests. Remember, they don't have to be trapped, but they should be chests. So 
bam you can place the hopper just like that and now you can layer it with the rails just like so and if you're good like me you won't if you're bad like me I mean if, if you're good unlike me you'll have no problem with this but I just cannot do this for the life of me there we go now you want to grab two pow two redstone blocks and place them on either side now for symmetry's sake I am going to place it so that the rails are in the exact middle of the design as best I can but if you guys don't care about symmetry or stuff like that this this is how I I would build it anyway now you want to grab your minecart with an hopper and just you know let it roll around is this will be the item collection system of your far of your design the next thing you want to do is grab some more of your dirt and place dirt just like this on top of the build and that is pretty simple all you got to do is just you know continuously fill this area up with all 18 dirt it should fit perfectly because that is all the dirt you do need now the next thing you want to do is grab your sod blocks because we're going to be making a water chamber this water chamber isn't very complicated all you have to do is simply go right here and layer the redstone block so I'm gonna do that real quick if I can't if I don't die it's happened more one more than once and we repeat the same thing on the other side of the build just just like this that's where our water is going to go I'm going to grab that because I seem to be really good at placing blocks today and just like that we have ourselves a little chamber to hold the water now the next step is to place one block up as temporary and then you have to move the same you have to do the same thing pretty much but except one block up so it kind of looks like this so now instead of a little rectangle shape there is in fact a trench and that block is going to be necessary so that's fun next you want to grab a water bucket and place water sources here and here remember you don't need two but i just had it it's just more convenient to have two again no no big deal really so I'm going to just remove these little edges because they are outside of the design A and they're not needed B, so why are they even there? The next thing you want to do is grab your hoe and bone meal and seeds. And this can be any design you like. All you need to do is this kind of zigzaggy pattern and it can be it can start here or there, it doesn't really matter. And then layer the zigzaggy pattern with your seeds. Now, I do want to mention something here. Uh, this farm can actually go out to infinity. I just find the length that I'm giving in this tutorial is the best most efficient length to save with redstone dust if you don't want to use any repeaters. And if you want to make it longer, that is fine. You might want to use repeaters if you want to make it more efficient. See, a melon has already grown. And but it's, it's really not a big deal. Don't worry about it. So, the next step that is going to be to place a few more blocks just up like so. And same thing on the other side. I'm surprised that C didn't die. I'm really thankful as well. That would have been embarrassing. And now here's a bit of an important part. You want to grab your pistons and observers. We're almost done with the design here. And you want to place an observer. What's important, you have to want to place an observer on the stem. It has to look at the stem, but not like that. It has to kind of look at it sort of backwards. So the best way I find to do this is to just get onto the rim and just place it so that it's looking at the stem right click and I'm shifting but you don't have to shift right click I'm just shifting so I don't want to fall into the uh, void because that would be unfortunate but anyway all you want to do is right click this and go on the other side do the same thing not on the same blocks just make sure they're looking at these stems and I'm gonna remove the melon soon but now what you want to do is you want to place pistons and here is a, another important bit just make sure you don't mess up any of the placements or else you're gonna have some really interesting uh, turnouts which would not be ideal but I'm just gonna finish placing in these pistons and now we should be all good and now the next thing you want to do is put grab your blocks these have to be solid again because otherwise you can't really put redstone on them and you want to wrap this all around the build because now you can take your redstone and put redstone on it and here's another thing I want to explain so the reason you uh, a certain design you could do is to just you know cut a few redstone and just not do this top row it doesn't have to connect but the reason I find it efficient is because a melon from this block can actually grow onto the opposite side and if it's just sides it won't connect but because of the length of the farm what I mentioned before because this is nine blocks long on either side a, a melon grown here will reach there 
so it's pretty much guaranteed to function regardless and as you can see everything is now updated from a single melon which just drastically improves the collection and something else I want to mention you can replace any one of these seeds with pumpkin seeds I'm just using melon for the demonstration I should have mentioned this earlier but I probably will in a disclaimer, so you're not even going to need this part. Anyway, the final thing you want to do is grab your glass, and this is an important bit. It has to be a transparent block here. It doesn't have to be white glass. I'm just dumb. I, what am I? What is my life? Slash give at p to white glass to boom. And now you just want to layer it on top. This isn't very difficult. I'm making it way more difficult than it has to be. But there we go. The reason this has to be glass is because we want the thing to be able to, the melons won't grow if there's a solid block above them. And the reason there has to be blocks up here, you might just not know why there's blocks. It's because we don't want any melons to be pushed on top of these pistons or some just not be collected. That's why this design is so efficient. It's because it's lossless. So that said, that is really all you need to know. The extra blocks you have in your inventory are just for aesthetic because you can, I'm fine going into creative mode right now because I believe we are done. I, you can place them just right here to make it look a bit nicer if you don't want to have the minecart in the way. But of course this one looks slightly worse because obviously this one has a nicer color scheme. But that said, this is the whole design, nice and complete. If you have enjoyed this video, uh, also make sure that these are transparent blocks because otherwise the chest can't open. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you all so much for watching. Shout out to Mambo Jumbo for the design, although it doesn't need my shout out, it is his actual design. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope this farm works well for you. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you all later. Bye!